To have a create or update view, we wanna make sure we have a model form. So this model form, I'm gonna go ahead and import into my views. So from dot forms, import model form. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create my view. So I'm actually gonna, well, I mean, can I copy this? Can it be the same? Well, it can be definitely very similar. So we'll call it article create view. And there we go. And I'm gonna call this create, right? So I need to make that template article create.html and much like product create it can just render out a form very simple so we got our view here let's go ahead and bring this in to my urls and again create as view open up that path and let's go into blog create okay so we're missing something here. It's saying using model form mix in without the fields is prohibited. Well, if we look at our view, we see that we actually didn't bring in our model form. So what if I just did form class equals to article model form, save that, refresh, there's our form. If I ran through this, it would actually save that data. It would work by default and it's going off of all of the validations, if any, inside of my model form. Again, those validations, the ones that we did in product model form. So if I wanted to validate the title, I would say clean title, those sorts of validations. And also the built-in ones as well. So this view does that for us. Notice that we still have that same query set and we also have a method called form valid. It takes in self and form. So what we would say here is this is actually the form valid data. So I can actually do print form.cleaned data. And then I'll just return super, the super class, the built-in, the default of form valid of that form. But this will allow me to see what data is actually coming through here. So if I refresh, new title, this is my second post. I hit save. I do get this error. This is critical. We will adjust this. But if I look at my terminal, before that error, I can scroll up and I see that clean data. Okay, so what is this error? Get absolute URL. That is a method that should be done by default inside of your model. So if we look back in our list, those items are still there. Like it actually did create that item, except it didn't go anywhere. So if we create this get absolute URL method, get absolute URL, and well, I want it to be based off of reverse, like this one. So if I copied my other one, I would just do something along these lines here. I know I'm shortcutting things, but you should know how to do this already. Okay. And then the app name is articles for our reverse, and it's gonna be article detail, okay? So the reverse function is to go to that detail view. So now let's go ahead and create another post and say new one, this is a new post. We hit save. Now it actually takes me to that URL. So that is a critical method for the get absolute URL method and part of the create view. It's actually also part of the update view as well. But the main thing here is I can also change where I want that to go by just overriding the success URL like this or define get success URL and you can return some path. That is another way to override that. But, but the default method works really well for us because Chances are good after you create an article, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at it. So the, the actual next part of this is pretty simple. We can copy this create method. I'm gonna put it underneath my detail view and change it to my update view. So article update view. And much like our detail view, I'm gonna be updating a specific article. So I can just use that get object method again and well, pretty much get rid of everything else. I don't actually have to change the template. I can bring this now into my URLs and 
grab this change like that. So if I wanted to go update it, I would just type out update. Oops, not updated, but update. And we might need to make sure that we save everything. Okay, go to update, and this is my third post. I hit save. It brings me back to that method. So the, the create and update are almost identical. The only difference is it actually grabs an object or an instance of the thing it's trying to change. Still using the same form, still using the same query set. Actually, in this case, I don't need the query set because I'm going based off of the object, just like with that detail view. So pretty cool.